The overriding issue in this campaign is clearly the health crisis with the virus. The question is which campaign is approaching it best. This is a good time to talk to both the leading spokesmen for the Biden campaigns and the Trump campaigns on all things COVID. Less than 50 days left in this election, and a lot of people say that every day spent talking about the virus is not a good day for the president. Uh, I think as things are right now, that's correct. Uh, I think it's incumbent upon me, upon the president, upon the entire team to, to, to change that story. I think corporate media is unfortunately pushing a very false narrative that the United States is somehow uniquely suffering from the virus. This is a global pandemic, and when you actually look at America's performance relative to peer nations, to the industrial world, the fact is, if we, if we use per capita death, we're doing far better than England, much better than Belgium, Sweden, Italy, Spain. But what about the fact that we have 4% of the world's population and 25% of the deaths from COVID? Well, we're a gigantic country, so if you want to look at raw numbers, it's really, really sad. Yeah, we have a lot of death. But this virus is not President Trump's fault. It's not Joe Biden's fault. Sure. The, the only people who are responsible for this are the Chinese Communist Party. The president has gotten into a argument with his own CDC director. Isn't that problematic? Well, listen, I, I view it this way. The president at times has a different view uh, regarding the prognosis going forward than do the scientists. I think this is in some ways representative of Donald Trump, the entrepreneur, the businessman, the executive, who demands that everything be done yesterday. Uh, he has been encouraging, to put it mildly, uh, he's been encouraging a rapid development. So far, the indications are uh, that, that it's going to happen at absolute record speed. The president right now has a really optimistic view, and I think he's validated by metrics. Well, he's not validated by 200,000 deaths, though. No, but I'm by the, by the trajectory right now. It's spiking right now in 17 states. Okay, it's but an upward trajectory. Right, but in, a, but in most of the country, it's trending downward, and particularly in the places that were the most recent hotspots, places like Florida and Arizona. Uh, again, there are valid data-driven reasons to be optimistic. Uh, I also think that the media fixates on the virus to an unnatural and unhealthy level. We need to talk about the economy more in this country because there is an economic renaissance that is booming right now. And the way for us to continue and accelerate it is to rehire our CEO president, Donald Trump. Okay, look, Joe Biden wants the economy open. Joe Biden wants kids in school. Joe Biden wants small businesses to be able to operate and meet their monthly goals. But he wants to make sure that it's done safely. He's going to listen to the scientists. And that might be a foreign concept for some people because the current president does not, okay? But Joe Biden is going to listen to the scientists. And one of the reactions to that from the president mm -hmm. is he said, well, scientists don't know everything. There are other people that you should be listening to as well. Who else? Uh, who? Who else, Mr. President? Who else should we be listening to? Okay, if not the scientists, then who? You know, you are the president of the United States, okay? Donald Trump is no longer this uh, proverbial outsider, if you will, that's looking, uh, peering through the glass at what the people at the t in, in power are doing at the table. He is, in fact, the person in power. This economic destruction, the 200, nearly 200,000 people who have died from this virus, that is on him. Absolutely. The Attorney General yesterday said that the lockdowns were similar to slavery in the denying of civil liberties. Uh, I, I just don't understand. It's so egregious. So I'm not gonna even speak to the characterization about slavery because this public health crisis is disproportionately affecting people of color in this country. We are more than six months in the belly of this crisis and there's still no plan. People will die. They are dying. The president's failed the American people. And I don't see any time over the next 47 days where he implements an effective plan to mitigate this virus. And that is the reason why he shouldn't be reelected president.